brightest blessings this is raven and today we are going to work on a natty and moon design project i have the lovely lavender it's called uh, this is the oh, color stories that's the word i wanted to use which is a freebie on the natty and moon uh, creative facebook page which i will link below i'm just going to check this lighting quickly because i've moved my lamp there we go so yeah go along to the facebook group and this is one of the freebies that's on there so there's quite a lot in it and with the color stories there isn't sort of a set there isn't a set design okay so they're not it's not a folio it's not a journal it's a range of pockets and tags and you know little bits and bobs that you can then put together to make something okay and that's what I like about the colour stories especially if you're a beginner this is a great way of building your stash without even doing anything just cutting the things out you've got yourself pockets I've already put together some of the pockets. We've got journal cards. So there's four journal cards in the colour stories. There's tags, nice big tags. Now, I haven't backed any of these as yet. We'll do that in a little while. So let's move some of these. We've got some spare pockets. And the reason I've got spare pockets is because for what I'm going to make, you get this as well which is slightly dyed in colour with these on a page so this could be used any number of ways you could use those on pages in a journal you could use this as a big journal card you could put these on here you can do all sorts yeah one of Natty's uh, full page pockets so it's three one two three but again if you want to spread them out they're full sized so that you've got three separate pockets there if you wanted to as well and there's no limit on how many you print them out because it's a freebie once you've got it you can print it out as many times as you want and that's what I tend to do I'll print two or three copies of things where's my little so here's my little um pouch where I've printed out two or three copies of this uh freebie so that then I can get extra bits if I want to the only thing in it that I think people may not have seen before is this on a page. I think it's actually that way around on the page. And essentially all it is, is a tag pocket. So this is a pocket, but in a tag shape. Yeah. So you would fold that and that, and that's the flap at the bottom. I would normally back this with something so you can't see it. And then this is designed to be a folded tag so you would fold 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 like this and then that goes in there with the little sticky out tab like that but you don't have to use it that way you might look at this and think well I don't want a foldy foldy tag I want three tags from that you can do that you might look at this and think right I just want that as a tag and maybe I can use this as a pocket on a page just glue around there and you can tuck things in you could glue all the way around the outside and tuck things in so the reason i like this these color stories is because there's so much that you can do with them even the journal cards you can turn that into a pocket you could turn that into two tags again that could be a pocket it's a lovely image and the same with these this i've um got a second copy of because i'm going to use it on the cover of what we're going to make today the only other things that were in this particular colour stories was this envelope which comes sort of ready cut uh, not ready cut ready to cut out and stick together and I've just backed it so that you don't see that so I've put that together so that's that one there's also one of these um box envelopes now the original comes with four of these yeah so the original would come like this and then you'd have another two here 
I decided I didn't want to do that for this project. I decided I wanted to turn this bottom one into a little pocket so that I can stick things in. This will be a bit big, but you can stick things in so that then, where's the tags gone? Tags, where are you? Obviously this is too tall, but still. I've left the top end open so that you could have taller things in if you wanted to. And then I've just put a couple of eyelets in and some twirly twine that I will probably change out or add to. It was just for now. And I've gone around the edges and things. And this is plain enough that you could put a label or decorate more if you wanted to or leave as it is. So, yeah, that's those. And then other than that, it also comes with two full pages this one and this one I love both of them but I have to say this one's my favorite probably because this is very um in your face which I like but for what I tend to do this is more my style than this and the fact that you get these two full pages gives you so many possibilities to make things guys it really really does you could use this as it is you can fold it in half and make a little page. You could do it in a page that way if you wanted to. This can be made into tags, into envelopes, into pockets. This can be made into absolutely anything. Yeah. So there's no reason to get one of these um, colour stories. And there's quite a few of them. This is the one that's free at the moment. There's no reason why you couldn't get one of these just to build your stash up. Now, the reason I wanted to do this one is because there is actually a correlating... No, that's Easter. There is actually a correlating uh, Lovely Lavender main journal kit, which isn't free, but I've got that one to do as well, and I want to make a lavender journal. So I figured if I've got the main kit, which I will add to... What I tend to do with most of my projects is make things and add to them. My lavender journal, I want to be a big journal. Big, 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 huge. Um, and I've got lots of lavender and purple and goodness knows what else that I want to add into it. I won't actually use the journal pages that come with this kit as journal pages. They will be used as journal cards, um, postcards or that sort of thing because I want the majority of the pages to be plain, but I figured. As I've got the freebie as well, we can make a couple of different things to go inside that journal that I'm going to make, and it will fill up my sash a little bit. So, what have I made then, you may ask. All I've got here is some random purple cardstock. Where is the book came from this one vintage romance which i think is probably i think i probably got this at the range in the uk and this has got some lovely purples and pinks and things in the purples are definitely my color the the pinks not so much but i'll use them eventually there's also um some vintagey bits in here so, yeah, I've used a lot of the purple already, as you can see. There's barely any left because I've used it all. But it's just lovely, lovely, thick-ish scrapbook paper. There's also pages of sentiments, but because the sentiments are white and a lot of them are pale, I probably wouldn't use this for sentiments. If I did, it might be some of these darker ones here. Um, where you can actually see what it says or on the dark pink but for the rest I probably wouldn't use and these are double-sided so you know you've got stuff on the other side instead if you want to use those but yeah that's you can probably see the number on there that's that one I don't know if this is still in stock I can't remember when I got this I've had this Ugh. goodness knows how long I just went through my stash um trying to collect stuff for Another journal that I want to start working on, and um, which is purple as well, and figured I would get this and use it in this as well. 
Sorry if you hear kids in the background, it's half term. So yeah, I've got two pieces of the cardstock. Two pieces of the cardstock and I printed two of these out. Which are plain on the back. We're going to back those in a moment. And all I've done is use this as a template to draw around. Yeah. Folded it in half. That's it. Easy peasy. And I've done the same on that one, but I folded it so that the tab is on the back on this one. The idea being that what I would like to do is make a little uh, flip book folio style thing to add a lot of this ephemera to and decorate the front. So it's sort of like a little mini journal really, but I'm not putting papers in, I'm putting pockets and things in. There probably won't be much in the way of filling the pockets because I don't have much to add to them bar some of these journal cards. But other than that, and the tags obviously, but the ones that we have got we'll back and put in here as well, provided they fit. So the idea for me was to have one inside the other, like so, and I will stitch these together eventually. But what I then want to do is use those large backing papers that we looked at. <coughs> Sorry, guys. To back these and attach them to this. So let's go about that. So we've got two of these and the two backing papers. And I need to be able to add these into here. Now, ideally... I don't want to glue these in because then they're going to be a different size. So all we're going to do is extend them into pockets. So we're going to back this, but leave maybe an inch or an inch and a half of the backing paper here like this. So then when it's folded, this will stay in the signature and this can be glued down here as a side pocket, yeah? Probably might not make sense, but it, it, it will, I promise. <laughs> I promise it will. I don't think I'll get, to, no, I won't get two out of this, which is a shame, but that's fine because what's left over we can make things with as well. So, I know that this needs to be on the right hand side so that when I'm gluing this down and having the extra on this side I know that this is the side I need the extra not that side so nice and simple for this glue stick I could use art glitter glue I could use um fabri could use double-sided tape if I wanted to and turn them into uh, pockets. I might do that on the next one as something different. We'll see. See how this one turns out. So all I'm going to do is stick that as close to the edge as possible so that I don't waste loads of paper. Uh, and I'm just using my squeegee to press that down. Now, the only thing I'm mindful of right now is the fact that the glue is still a little bit wet, so I don't want to go around it with scissors and things. However, I do want to mark roughly, do we say, no, I think maybe an inch and a half or two inches. Inch and a half is a good size. I'm just going to mark my pen an inch and a half roughly there and it doesn't matter that there's pen on this side you're not going to see it so we've done that one let's just trim around this edge Oh, 
I hope you're all doing well, peeps. The flooding is starting to subside here, thankfully. Now, on this section, I'm not going to cut because I want to make sure that this is straight. So this is where I get my good old paper trim out. I'm just going to pull that across. Let's trim the slightest little bit off, which is fine. I can sort that out with the scissors. It's the paper I've printed it on. This um, this paper is the really expensive <laughs> photo paper, which is lovely, you know, all good. But when you cut it, sometimes it leaves you with, you can see the layers between the paper, which isn't great if your blade isn't particularly sharp, which this clearly isn't, I need to change it out. So now we're left with this, okay? Now I could have that as a mini page. Let's just show you what I'm talking about before we go any further. There's the other one. Come back. I want to make sure that that is folded right to the edge. This one here so ignore this bit because I haven't trimmed so the idea when it's sewn is that you open it up and you've got something plain here it won't be plain eventually flip this over you've got a lovely decorative page this side that you can do things with bearing in mind guys that this is flopping about and not looking straight and lovely because it's not all done yet flip this over that's all nice Flip this over, that's all nice. And then you've got this, which I could leave as a page if I wanted to. But as I said, for this one, I'm going to cut it down and make this into a side pocket. Okay. So now we've done that, let's get our trim up and go there. Save these. We're going to ink all around this as well so that you're not going to see all of that. And I'm not going to glue this down until I've sewn the signature together. And there we go. You see, I will probably put a little tab in there, a little div, divot. And there we have a little side pocket. Now you could add one of these on here as well if you wanted to. All sorts you can do. This would be nice writing space as well. So we've done that one. Let's do something different for the other one. What can we do? Bearing in mind I also want that this side. Put that in the middle, is that right? Yeah, so I'm going to have this one in the middle. Now, I may keep that as an extra page, because otherwise it's going to be pocket, pocket, and that's a bit boring. Yeah, let's do that. So for this one, it's on, when I'm backing it, I know that I need to back And have this as extra. Move this out of the way. So we are just sort of going, going along. Oh, this book is so fragile. Sort of going along and making it up as I go. 
which is what most crafters do, to be honest. I don't have a set plan. And I think that's probably why I don't film as much as I'd like to, because I tend to not have a plan and just sit down and start crafting. And then when I've done it, I think, oh, I should have filmed that. That, that was a great idea. But because nine times out of ten, I don't know what I'm going to do. I did sort of sit here for a good 20 minutes faffing about with things, thinking about what I wanted to do. Right. Lid on the glue. Glue page out of the way. Glue block out of the way. Although I have a lovely big corner desk, it's completely full. Right. One sticking out the bottom. Just going to trim along the edge. In. I'm just going to make sure that it's lined up this end. There we go, you see, end up with the little what's it. This is going to be a uh, middle page. Again, it doesn't want to line up because I haven't put it in the right place yet. So I'm going to leave this as it is. But then on the other side, when we get to do that, I wonder. I think it's going to be too wide to go on here. Ooh, just a skosh. I might cut these down ever such a little. Put a bit of backing paper at the top. I might cut some of this down even so I can use this as well. And have that as a pocket page. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do, guys. All right, so we've got our centre bit there. We've got that and we've got that. What was going on on this one that wasn't quite right? A little bit of edging. Tiny bits. All right, so for this one, it was pretty self-explanatory because this is gonna be glued on a page. So it'll be that, that, and then that. We want to put a tab in that. I'm just going to use my whale tail because it's at the top. She says, and then can't get it in. And we're going to ink. I've got um, some archival Dusty Concord Distress ink that I like to use. Just a little one. Um, I really want to get some purple oxide inks. But for now, I haven't got them. So they'll just have to wait. I'm just giving it a light ink around the edges there. 
feel free to fast forward me guys or put me on on mute if i'm annoying you i am aware that people linking for an entire video can be a bit much a little bit along that line yeah now I obviously don't need to ink in there but I am going to ink this side with these I'm thinking what I will likely do is put one of the corner pockets or something small down the bottom so you've got all this space for writing so that's that one. So where were we? First page. That one and then that one. Then that one. So then all we've got left is these. And as I said, I want to cut these down a little to fit onto here because they are just ever so slightly Let's fold this properly first. Squeaky squeak. And then we can actually have an, a look. You can see it's just a smidge, just a skosh. So I'm just tapping these and lining them up. Scoosh off that side. I'm going to turn them over. Which side did we just do? That side. Skosh. And a skosh that side. And the only reason I've done it that way is because uh, Natty's already put little holes. Um, they're not holes, what are they? Tuck bits. Gaps. <laughs> She's already put gaps in. So how does that fit now? Let's go with the big one because that actually. That'll do me because I will ink along that edge. Perfect. I will just get my trimmer out. I'm going to trim. I'm going to trim about that much off that one. And that one. I don't need to really ink the bottoms of these, but OCD. going to end up with something roughly like that yes so all I need now is a backing piece of paper to go there I could use my leftover bit which I think is what I'm going to do glue book where are they Because I'm literally just going to glue this to the top there. And then the rest we'll do with our glitter glue in a second. Oh, 
where I want the darker part at the top. And as I said, I don't mind the white border because I'm going to be going around it anyway. Oh, more sticky. Pockets. Honestly, guys, I'd lose my head if it wasn't attached. So this can go as high or as low as we want it to. We'll just eyeball it as to where we want it. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Bit of art glitter glue around the edges. It's about halfway up that one. As I said, guys, the, this kit gives you an awful lot of chance to play around, which is why it's perfect for beginners, but it's also perfect for seasoned crafters because you'll probably have more knowledge of what to do with the different bits. And obviously this freebie in combination with the main kit just gives something a little bit extra. Oh, there we go. Get in. Thank you. All right, so now we've done that. I'm going to ink around this whole thing. saying that I don't think I actually inked the whole other one so I might check that in a second as well mine like a sieve I right, do also be wary guys that obviously some as some pieces of paper are going to be thicker than others so just be careful when you're doing inking some people can be very heavy-handed which I tend to be, and then I end up wrecking my projects because I'm not being gentle enough. Okay, and then I wanted to ink this side, and I don't think that's what I've done on the other one. All the way around. And if you haven't got a purple ink, you could use a purple felt tip preferably a thicker felt tip and just go around it's mainly to cover the white edges but depending on the angle of your brush or your tool you can add more or less ink so you can just go along the edge like that and it will give you purple edges or you can drag it down and if you drag it down you end up with a line yeah Folded. Just going to add a bit of ink. So when you see me going quite quick, that's what I'm doing. I'm dragging it down. I'm the same on this side. Just dragging it down. Before I put that away fully, did I? Oh, I did. I didn't think I'd done around this side, but I have. We're all good. Except I want it a bit thicker along there. 
There we go. Right, so that one, that one, that one. And we were doing that side or the other side, I can't remember. Let's flick through and have a look. Move some of these bits out of the way before I start sewing. So open, plain, pretty page. That's going to be that side, isn't it? So you'll end up with a pretty page, pockets, plain page, pretty page. <coughs> oh, excuse me, guys. Yeah, I think I'm happy with that. Happy, happy, happy. So I'm just going to chuck a couple of clips on this so it doesn't move about too much for now. Well, I sort out my binding and have a little drink. me 10 years to find my needle because oh no there it is now i'm wondering oh i've got a smaller one i'm wondering if this will work it is quite sturdy let's try it and if it doesn't we'll go to this i think i'll have to use the thicker one though the thinner one i don't think it's going to be a bit tricky. So this purple was something somebody sent to me in Happy Mail. No clue who it was now. Um, but it's lovely. I'm doing three and a bit lengths. Pick things up. Can't thread them either, apparently. Oh, goodness me. All fingers and thumbs. And if you're wondering why it's so quiet, it's because it's in the evening. We're talking half eight in the evening. So this doesn't have to go all the way through. I think that will be fine. Now, I'm not going to bother measuring and all that malarkey. I'm just going to go roughly in the centre, roughly an inch from the bottom, and roughly an inch from the top. I want this to be sewn up on the outside not to the inside. Mm -mm -mm -mm. It's not going to work because of these, there's like bulky bits on it. Maybe if I make my holes a little bit wider. If it doesn't, I'll just go to my normal twine. I just heard the youngest witchling and then the oldest witchling telling her to shh. <laughs> yeah, Mama Raven got a bit cross because every time I try and film at the moment there is either a child or a dog being loud and 99% of the time I can't refilm it. And it's not fair on you guys to have to listen to my menagerie of animals and children messing around. All right, I'm going to take that off there now. Let's 
I'll try and thread this through. So then it's quite tight. Come on, you can do it. Not too bothered about the holes being a bit big and um, there being some white showing and I'll show you why in a minute because I'm going to cover it up. So I'm going to pull tight-ish and do a double knot like so. I don't mind this being dangly but I don't want it so dangly and then these I will keep for scraps. Get my needles, put them away in my little pouch that I got from d &M with my K for carry on. For those of you who don't know that's my actual name Kerry. Right, now where we've got the whites, because I haven't actually done too much inking on the spine yet. Where it's worst, just dab it. Now, I have... I'd have decided to put the string on the inside. I could, of course, put washi tape down here. I could have put some of the extra paper down the side if I wanted to. I'm happy with how this is, and I will wait because I may find some charms that I want to go on here. So we'll leave the cover till last. Let's see how we go. So just flattening this down as we go through. Yeah, happy with that, happy with that. This we can glue down now because it's not going to go anywhere. Hand-eye coordination. Right. And then that will be the back. And something sticky on it. So, as I said, we're going to leave that out the front. I've already got the stuff set aside for the front. Over there. So that's that done. Right, what have we got in terms of pockets and things? So we've got this pocket, which I folded ready. We've got a little corner tuck. And then we've got two of these um, like mini envelopes and I've just backed the back with some of my purpley dyed paper. So four pockets and then we've got this, which to be honest, I would put into a pocket and an envelope which I could glue down we'll see but I'll probably end up putting it in a pocket so on this first side what I do know is that I want to as I said keep some space for writing so I'm thinking maybe this corner would be quite nice and then perhaps we'll find some lace or something to go on the top just to make it a bit more interesting. So let's just ink this up. And as I said, this is more about filling it with pockets than it is filling it with ephemera inside the pockets, but we'll see what time we have at the end. I will check in a moment what time we've got left so we've got that there nice and easy we can stick a couple of tags or what have you in now obviously these tags are quite tall 
but there's no reason why they have to stay that length. Okay, so we've got that there. I feel like I need something this side. Now I know that I want to use this on the front cover, so I'm not going to use that there. Do I want to use that or do I want to use some of this and make a big pocket? I think that's what I'm going to do, guys. I'm just going to... Obviously, I know there's a notch there. That's fine. I'm looking for width. Oh, sorry if I've just knocked you all over, guys. that that better yeah chucking things about right corner rounder half inch this desperately needs sharpening do this one quite deep I think that's going to be all dried up head's not in the game guys I've been literally resting so so much because I'm just totally winded from COPD which they, the doctors think actually came from having COVID. So they think it's like long COVID. And I've then developed COPD on top of that. Um, I'm not wheezing now, which is good. I literally was wheezing, audibly wheezing very, very heavily for about three weeks. Now I'm just left with a slightly annoying cough. Happy with that. Glue, glue, glue. And if you watch my last video where we made the um, the box ephemera holder, yeah, I made I may have made another few of those <laughs> um, using different kits by different people. Um, just to snazz it up a bit. So that's our first page then. So we've got all this space for writing on if we want to write. We've got a nice big pocket and then a little pocket there. You could add decoration here if you wanted to. You could put some coffee dyed paper or something there for writing. We'll see how we go. This side, if I'm going to put anything on here, I want it relatively plain. I think the envelope is too big. It just covers the whole the whole thing which is slightly annoying hmm that's too much too much what about that I could glue that around the edges and have that as a pocket that way or down here and have that as a tuck that way or put it more towards the center with a little gap now I think 
I might want to do a belly band. So we'll leave that bit for now. This side. See, the envelope is just slightly too wide for me to want to glue in. As it is, which is why I said it's probably going to end up going into a pocket like that. Or like that. So let's shove him in there for now. Instead of that leaving that here. Just looking through what I've got, guys, which isn't a lot left now, in fairness. Obviously, we've got this, which could go on like that. Go for pocket. Not as deep as the last one, although I did like the last one. Not going to go too dark. the bottom so that then some of these big tags can fit in here quite nicely you see see that would make a beautiful belly band if I get rid of that's what I'm going to do guys So I think we'll have just enough time to finish putting the pockets in. This is the other reason why I'm not filming as much at the moment, because I do really feel that's nowhere near the centre. I do really feel like I'm on a go slow at the moment. I just can't... I can't seem to get things done as quick as I normally would. That stuck? No, nowhere near. Of course it isn't, you pulled it up. And the fact that this doesn't go right down to the bottom is fine because I will likely add some lace or something. So I think what I might do, guys, is do a part two just to fill this up. So... Yeah, big pocket, little pocket, belly band, big pocket, this side, and then this. I'm probably going to leave this because we've got the pockets that side. Or maybe glue that one on because it's quite plain. Now, as I've said previously in this video, this is what I decided to make. If you look at this and you think, oh gosh, no, that's, uh, that's not what I want to do. That's fine. You don't have to. Nobody's making you. I've done this as a double pocket. I was just double checking.
obviously it's not fully dry guys so it's not ideal to be doing this now but the idea being you can slip something like that behind and another one in there oh dear this side I can hear the cat scratching now. She's not happy because the girls have closed the bedroom door. Even though she lives in my daughter's room pretty much, she doesn't go out. end isn't particularly straight right what size are we Says and then still doesn't get the measuring right. There you are, you see, even seasoned crafters. Terrible. <laughs> so, what I was thinking. like that so we want the corner around at this time i'm going to use the quarter inch because these are much much smaller pockets sorry i've pulled that right to me and then you can't see i'm not going to put notches in these I can't be bothered <laughs> more than anything to be honest um, plus when they're as thin as this really you don't need to it's quite obvious that they're either belly bands or pockets all right let's get this bottom one on first Sorry if my head's getting in the way. I'm trying to make sure it's straight. Or oh, relatively straight. Right. Da, da. Da, da. Da, da. Da, da. Da, da, da. This one, we want something small down here again, don't we? Let's do this little one. That's ready made. That's nice and easy. Down in the corner. And we have this one, which I'm actually thinking belly band again, but I'm not sure.
That one might be nice. No. Purple stripes. Let's go purple stripes and I'm going to keep the top on because I'm going to put some lace on it. Another belly band. Yeah, that's fine. So then we've already got a pocket on that one, so I'm not going to put anything else there. So we want a pocket for this one and a pocket for that one. What have I got left? Not a lot. I've got this, another tall one. That might be nice that side, do we think? Or there. I think it clashes too much with that side. So let's do this. Now, obviously, this is um, coloured on the back, so this could just go inside a pocket as well if you wanted it to. So then all we've got to worry about is this page. And I'm, I really want to use one of these. And I'm thinking of doing a belly band, but that way, just for something different. Now, obviously, these are this um, these journal cards are four to an A4 page, but there's no reason why you couldn't size those down, which is probably what I'm going to do is size them down to make ephemera to go inside this. Totally glued that the wrong way. I have. I wanted it to go that way. <laughs> Let's go with that one instead. I wanted an up and down belly band. And this is fine. It's dry already. You're not even going to see it. There we go. So then you've got with the up and down belly band. She says, and then that's stuck. No, don't stick. Oh, I've messed that up, guys. The idea being you can do that <laughs> and then that, yeah? And just to reiterate it, I might put lace and things down eventually. And then it's just the back, which, to be honest, I think I would leave plain. So, quick, quick look then, because I think we're pretty much at the hour now. Oh, just over. Yeah, so let's have a quick look. So we've got pocket here, pocket here. Belly band, another pocket here, little pocket, little pocket, little pocket, little pocket. One, two, three pockets, another pocket, belly band, belly band. Don't say that's stuck, no. Oh, honestly, guys, couldn't write it, could you? Has it done it again? No. No, it's just sticking. Belly band. <laughs> pocket, pocket, pocket. In there. 
And there we go. I will list the uh, Natty and Moon freebie uh, group below. The free... Oh, goodness me, I can't get my words out. How to tell it's late in the evening and the fibro's kicking in. I'm really, really sorry, guys. If any of you <laughs> suffer with fibromyalgia, you'll know what I'm going through right now. I've got a million words going through my head. But I can't remember which one I'm supposed to be saying. <laughs> Oh dear. Start again. The Natty and Moon Creative Facebook group where you can find the freebie, I will link below. I will also link um, Natty's Etsy because you can actually purchase these as well. So if for whatever reason you go along and you can't find the freebie or, you know, what have you, you're not on Facebook, you're but you are on Etsy, then you can go along and purchase it. They're very, very good price-wise. And as I said, there's the colour stories and there's the main journal kit. But I will just post uh, the colour stories. OK. As usual, my normal links are down below. So that's Facebook and Etsy. Etsy has a 50% sale at the moment for about two weeks now left on that so go on and head over and i will see you in the next video bye guys